Hey guys, I'm Amadeo78 from Broken Continuity, and this is Pick It Up, where I review a trade that I enjoy. Today, I'm talking about 52, Volume 1. Published in 2006, this was written and drawn by quite a lot of people. Now, I have to say, this is something of a novel idea, and in some ways, I think it's something you can only do in DC Comics. What happens to the world when the Trinity is gone? At the end of Infinite Crisis, Wonder Woman, Batman, and Superman basically all take a break. This is the story of what happened in that time period. And it features, well, there's a lot of boost to gold, but it really kind of features everybody. It's like they took away all your favorite toys so you could get more familiar with the other toys that you own. Now, I do have to point out that Clark Kent is in this volume, but he's just Clark Kent. Like, he literally can't be Superman. I feel like this is a really great way to kind of wind down after a very large event. The repercussions from Infinite Crisis are really just kind of being explored in this. Despite the fact that the world really hasn't moved on, I mean they really are forced to. Some storylines do specifically deal with that aftermath, but a lot of the other ones are basically things are happening and we need heroes, and these are the people that are involved. A lot of the stories really focus on different things based on their characters. I mean, Black Adam really has a bigger picture in mind, whereas Ralph Dibney is just caught up with a crazy Superboy cult who wants to do something with his wife's body. Naturally, we have to have a stop in Gotham, but we go with some really different characters in the form of Renee Montoya and The Question. The presence of the Bat family, however, is still felt in this book. It's not so much as a replacement though, it's more about heroes dealing with what they have on hand. Anyway, I'm Amadeo78 from Broken Continuity, thanks for tuning in, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.